Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we learn about how we can solve exercise problem number 4-2. In this exercise, we need to develop a model of a simple serial 2 processing system and the items arrive at the system with mean time that is distributed with 10 minutes arrival with the first arrival at time is 0. They are immediately sent to process 1. Uh, which has a single resource and its main service time is 9.1 minutes. Upon completion of process 1, the entities are sent to the process 2, which is identical to but independent of the process 1, and the item depart the system upon completion of process 2. Performance measure of interest are the time, average number in queue at each process and average total time in system of the item and we need to run single replication of length 10,000 minutes and we need to make the following 4 runs and compare the results. In the first run, the exponential interarrival time and exponential service time. In second run, constant interarrival time and exponential service time. In third run, exponential interarrival time and constant service time. And finally, constant arrival time and constant service time. Okay, so this is the case problem which is given in simulation with Arena 6 edition. So let's move to the Arena home screen. So here's our model. First, add our create module, and under the create module, rename it as arrive, and the entity type are parts. In the first run, the Time between arrival is randomly distributed, random as well, that is 10 minutes. Entries per arrival per one, max arrival infinite, and first creation is zero. And simply click OK. Then add a process module and add the resource one for process one, and its expression is as well, that is 9.1 minutes. Then add the process two module or add the resource. 2 for process 2 and it is exponential distribution with its S4 9.1 and units are again in meters and then click OK and then entities leave the system. Ok, so here you need to add the resource animation and for adding the resource animation move to the this uh, animate toolbar and under this resource animation toolbar Simply add these resources from the current library, Arena current library. And for idle and busy, select these two resources from the available list of libraries and then click OK and repeat the same step from the process too. All right. So on the basic process, move to the entry and rename the entry picture. Uh, sorry, entry type is already renamed at under the create module so here you need to change the initial picture assignment that is picture dot red page and resources we have two resource resource for process one and resource for process two and both resources has capacity is equal to one all right so let's add a plot under this animate toolbar and after adding the plot add the two data series so in, uh, in first, uh, mean the process one in data series of pro for process one, add the expression and do process one dot u. Simply click this build expression and under this expression type, you can create this expression that is and do process one dot u. Repeat the same step for process two, number in due value. And here you can further adjust other formatting or cosmetic changes as you like. And then simply click OK and arrange on your Arena model screen. And this one is the timeline for 0 to 10,000 minutes. Move to the run setup. And here application length is 10,000 minutes, 24 hours per day, and base units are in minutes. And then simply click OK. So this one is the complete uh, information for run 1. OK, so let's click this run button or here you can see the simulation is in running state let's fast forward it 
to view the results and here you can see the number waiting for Q1 is 4.218 and for process 2 is 4.7 and the average time in system uh, for each parse is actually 108.19 so this one is the complete result of run 1 now move to the exercise and here you can see run 2 constant interval time and exponential service time so there is no change in the model flow simply move to the iterate module and under this assignment assign the constant interval time instead of the random s4 so simply change its type from random s4 to constant and then click ok and the second one is the exponential service time so it means the process 1 uh, delay type is s4 random s4 and for process 2 is also random s4 and then again run your model or fast forward it let's view the results and here you can see the average number weighted in q is 2.8827 and for process 2 is 3.8410 and the total time in the system is 85.266 right and uh, now the rest of the run parameters uh, can be left off for your exercise so you can do it on your own like first again change the create module constant interval time to exponential interval time but change the service time of both processes to constant and then change both create like interval time and the service time to constant then after the completion of four uh, experiments you can see the result like this this one is for run 1, this one is for run 2, this one is for run 3 and this one is for run 4 with these parameter settings. Okay, so the important thing is the randomness is present in the input certainly appears to have impact on the output performance results. Even though the mean of the respective input across all four of these scenarios are the same, but the important thing is we have made just one replication so proper statistical method should be required to make some decisions and that concludes exercise 4-2 thank you